heard about it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to make sure, you know, I keep my head above water and, and you know, attack this rehab process um, after surgery and, and make sure that I'm doing whatever I can to be beneficial for the team. You can't predict anything in this league. You can't predict what's going to happen uh, when you're sitting there back in August. Uh, you, you don't know what's what's coming your way. So, you know, we keep a, a very, very narrow focus in this building. Uh, what I know is we got a big one on Sunday. And of course, we know Kevin Stefanski likes to keep that next man up mentality as we bring in our Browns reporter, Cameron Justice. And Cameron, you were inside that locker room with Deshaun Watson, with his teammates behind us here at the Cross Country Mortgage Campus. Give us a sense for what the vibe was like today. Well, John, this is not the first injury that they've yeah. had to deal with with Deshaun Watson. So the team is maybe used to this by now, plus the suspension. They've seen him out of these games before. However, they've rallied around him before and through all of that. That is continuing now that he's out for the season. The rally continues and they're supporting him along the way heard about it um, but you know I'm gonna uh, make sure you know I keep my head above water and, and make sure I stay in touch with all the guys and um, support them as much as I possibly can and, and you know attack this rehab as Deshaun Watson faces season-ending shoulder surgery the Browns face another obstacle thrown their way this season not like he was on the sideline complaining about his injuries you know we had no idea uh, at least me personally so uh, I didn't know anything until this morning that he got hurt, obviously, so it's just unfortunate. With Watson now out for the season, the team plans to support him both on the field. He's hurting. He wants to be out there. Um, but again, we got a job to do. We're professionals. Um, we still have all our goals right in front of us, and we got we to gotta handle our business. And off the field, showing just how deep their connections run. Uh, I think that, that deep connection and togetherness started in Greenbrier. You know, when we had the time to remove ourselves from the outside world. And before, man, he's, uh, he's, he's been through a lot. Um, but we know that he's given himself or given us everything. Uh, and that's that, dem that was demonstrated last week. And we're going to support him during this time. Those bonds they've built hope to drive them forward despite the loss of their franchise quarterback. You know, this team, as we've all seen, will fight like crazy. Uh, sometimes in pregame, which I don't recommend. Uh, but that's what's required. And, and these guys, they care about each other. They're going to push each other. They're, they're there for each other. Uh, we have Deshaun's back through all this uh, as he gets better. Um, and we know he's got our back. So uh, we'll continue to fight. That's just what we do. But against all odds, this team has continued to keep morale yeah. high. That's no different now. Morale is high as they enter this week's game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, thank you, Cameron.